Hello everyone, it is Aubrey, Recovering Perfectionist, Queen of Distraction, and today we are getting my wardrobe all ready for spring. This is something that I've been wanting to do really just for like the last week. Once I was able to wear something other than my winter coat out to the bus stop with Jackson in the morning, I really just felt like it was time to start pulling out winter pieces and putting in more of my spring go-to items. Alec and I went to Target this morning and I didn't buy anything, which I'm very proud of myself for because one of my no buy things for 2023 was anything from fast fashion companies. So like Target, blah, blah, blah what have you. I will, I will not directly purchase from those stores, but I will buy secondhand. So there were a couple dresses from Target that I found on Mercari that I did purchase secondhand. So being more mindful about buying things secondhand. And then if I am going to buy anything new, buying from more sustainable companies and things that are just higher quality, going to last longer, uh, more timeless styles, like high-waisted jeans. Just please be in style forever. Low-rise jeans are coming back and my husband told me that I should get some because that's what I used to wear when I was 16. Can't do that anymore. Just, just can't. Oh, my back hurts. Okay, so last fall, I started implementing Courtney Carver's Project 333 method. So 33 pieces of clothing, shoes, accessories for every three months. So each season you have 33 pieces of clothing to use. Underwear, loungewear, pajamas, stuff like that does not count any jewelry that you're wearing on a daily basis, like your wedding ring, earrings. Workout wear does not count, but they say you have to be working out in it, which for me, if I'm cleaning the house or working outside in my workout wear, that's working out for me. So yeah, that's that's me validating not working out in my workout gear. That system has worked out really well while you're supposed to transition items every season. I only did it in the fall and I haven't done it since. So I think that at this point I probably have over 33 items. There were 27 things in my closet that I had actively hanging up in what I have available to me on a daily basis. And I know that between that and what is in my pants drawer is more than likely over 33 items, not by much, but I will say I have absolutely loved dressing like this. When I go to my closet, I of course still have that what am I going to wear thing, but I don't ever feel like I have nothing to wear because I know now that everything in my closet I do actually like and it fits me at this season of my life. I've tried to stop hanging on to items that I feel will make me feel or appear a certain way and just keeping things that I can function with on a day-to-day -day basis. I do have I don't know what I'm doing. Oh God, my back hurts. I can't sit like this anymore. Oh. I'm gonna reposition. Okay, so long story short, here in the Pacific Northwest where we reside, spring is basically backwards fall. So a lot of my fall items are going to end up crossing over into my spring stuff. And there might be a couple winter sweaters that I might keep in just for days that might end up being cooler. Fingers crossed, last year was trash. I'm not trying to repeat that because it was depressing. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you my Mercari and Poshmark haul. I think I have maybe technically spent $5 on clothing that is worth several hundred dollars. Like these Madewell jeans, $130. No, I got them for 50. They're second hand, but I'm at this point where I just don't care. I do not care because they're a high quality jean and I'll wear somebody else's pants. I just, it's whatever. I think I might turn these into shorts. I'm not sure. I just love a comfy hoodie, but this just doesn't spark joy. The green is, the green makes me sad. It's not a good green. One other thing that I have been doing for several years is at the beginning of each year, and I'm going to start doing it seasonally as I transition my clothes from one season to the next, is I put everything backwards. So as I pull an item out and then eventually hang it back up, I will be able to tell what items haven't been pulled out in this and another sweater just didn't get worn. This was my husband's flannel and I like it, but I just didn't wear it going in that pile. <laughs> This is my painting sweater. Definitely a different category. And then how many 
long sleeve shirts do I keep out? Spring is weird. I feel like I should get 66 items for spring because we go through at least two to three seasons every day. I just remembered my bin of things. Gosh darn it. I'll be back. So one thing I've been doing recently that has been extremely helpful, I cannot remember the video or even who the creator was for the YouTube video that I watched that suggested this idea, but it was brilliant. Basically you just use a bin or a basket to put the things in. Like if you have a chair in the corner of your room that always collects the things that aren't quite ready for the wash, but like you're not gonna... It was a mosquito. That's gonna be silly on camera. Okay, this is my bin of stuff that's not ready to be washed, but it's not gonna get put away. That's what I'm trying to say. This sweater I kept hung up all fall and winter. I never wore it, but I wore it all the time during the summer. So it's definitely going in the spring pile. I wore it yesterday and it was lovely to have it back. Okay, these are my Levi wedgie jeans. They make my butt crack look a little weird, but as long as I have something that covers it up in the back, so comfortable. And I got these on Mercari for a lower price than the retail price of like $98. It just blows my mind that people spend that much money on jeans. I've never spent more than I think $40 on a pair of brand new jeans. But we are buying higher quality items now. We're growing up. Quality over quantity. Okay. My other pair of Madewell jeans that I got on Mercari, I think I got these for like $27, but I had a credit, so I got them for free. My credit I got with stuff that I've sold. I just got an email recently suggesting that I fill out a W9, W something, because I've sold over $300 worth of stuff. You don't have to technically fill one out until you sell $600 worth of stuff, which I'll just stop selling before that point and switch to like Poshmark or something which I haven't done as well on, but all of that money that I've earned from selling my stuff secondhand, I've been able to turn around and buy like new, new to me jeans. Um, like I mentioned, I got a couple dresses. I got, oh my gosh, these kids I got at DSW for $70, but then I thought, I wonder if I could find these on Poshmark or Mercari and I had a credit on Poshmark and I ended up getting these for 87 cents because my credit that I had covered the majority of the balance. It was just my favorite thing. And they were new. I think the late, well, I think the lady said she wore them a couple times. I'll let that slide. I don't buy used shoes otherwise. Okay. Another thing that I really love about organizing my closet using the Project 333 is for the most part, all of my clothes can intermingle within each other. Like they all match to some extent. I found some more things. This is all of my hanging out of season stuff that I keep tucked in the corner of my closet. Um, there are a couple things that I don't think I'll ever count towards a specific season. This is what I wear when someone dies. And this is what I wear if I get to go to a wedding. So, so my formal wear. Uh, you're a summer item. Okay. Oh, I have too many piles going on. Darn. Okay, I mean, I did not get as much as I wanted to done before he woke up. This I'm gonna sell. It's cute, but I had such a hard time styling it last year. I just feel like there's too many holes. The wind blows through it. Okay. This I am so excited to bring out. This was actually one of the first things that I ever bought off of Mercari a couple years ago. And I ended up rebuying it after I loaned it out and it got lost. So very excited to see that again.
This shirt I got my senior year of high school at Zoomies and I keep it just to validate that I can still fit into it. I don't know, I wanna try it on just because I don't know if I'll end up keeping it though. Another thing that I'm doing today is I'm going to be going through my, my dresser and cleaning that out. What do you want to do? You want to pull my camera down? Mm -hmm. Yes, naturally. I need to try this on. I just, I don't know if I'm a two-piece girl anymore. I think I might be a one-piece mom. Do I need four pairs of workout pants that I don't work out in? This is another bathing suit that I got. Not another bathing suit that I got. I got it on Mercari. Nine doll hairs. All right, Alec is having some snacks while I go through my underwear drawer. Oh gosh, I just need to. Don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like that. I just, I don't like bras. I don't like bras anymore. They're stupid and uncomfortable. Like I bought this sports bra and I think I worked out in it once. I just don't want to exercise anymore. Like at this point in my life, any exercise I'm doing is going to be very low impact and I'm not going to need to worry about anything moving. Hi. Hi. Oh, I love you, sweet boy. Alex the camera guy. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, I have a lot of socks. Okay, well, I'm not necessarily at a great stopping point, but it's really nice out and we're gonna go outside. But that's, this is what my room currently looks like. So that's that. Deal with that later. All right, I just put Alec in his room for a nap. What I'm running into now is I just kind of have a lot of categories and I'm finding myself really overthinking things. So right now I'm gonna get anything that I'm getting rid of, I'm gonna put it in a box and I'll decide exactly where it's going later, whether or not it's going to friends, family, donated, or something that I will be posting for sale on Mercari or Poshmark and then doing something else. So, I mean, just now you can watch me do something fast for a while. I'm just going to pile everything right there for now to just hopefully allow me to focus on spring and not think about the rest of the year because I can think about that later. Some things 
I know we're fine. Some things I need to try on. So long story short, when Alec was two months old, I ended up with a staph infection in my right breast, which just led to aversions of breastfeeding on my own part, which led Alec to completely avoid that side, which led to milk production issues, and things are just a little smaller over there. So for the last year plus, I have struggled to find things that don't look awkward in that department, which has been frustrating and challenging as far as my wardrobe goes. Like I'm happy to continue breastfeeding my baby, but it's been, it's just been difficult finding things that I don't look silly in, if that makes sense. No more overthinking. I need to try some things on and maybe you all can help me because I'm probably gonna need some advice. Ugh, making some difficult life decisions. Ugh, damn hangers. Well, that's that. So these linen pants, I got at Old Navy last year and I got them to try and replace a pair of linen joggers like these that I had gotten at H&M several years ago and just like wore the life out of them. So this was trying to recreate those magical pants that I'll never be able to replace. And there's this seam down the front and it's not uncomfortable to walk around in, but like changing diapers and chasing kids around, it's, it's kind of uncomfortable. I don't know, I feel like the front is kind of baggy in a weird way but like I wear it with this and I just look like I should have an art studio, right? I don't love them. I wanna keep them, but I wanna get rid of them. I guess I am technically under my 33 items. So space wise, I can keep them, but also the goal is to be parting with things that I'm not wearing. Maybe I'll just put them at the bottom of the stack. And if they never make it to the top, then they never make it to the top. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on Thank you for your opinion. <sighs> All right, now I remember why I decided to try and sell these. Somebody these would be adorable on, but it's, it's not me. It's not me. This romper I love. It might remind you of your granny's curtains, but I don't care. I love it. I haven't been able to wear it for like two years because of my current predicament. I just want to know what would you do? Would you rock the romper with your lopsided milk bags or... <laughs> or would you put it away for another day? I wanna get pockets added into it. I just love it and I miss it so much, but I just feel silly. So what would you do? What would you do if you had a piece of clothing that you loved but looked ridiculous in? Asking for a friend. So for a little while during this process, I was obviously coming in contact with items from the other three seasons. And it was really creating a lot of roadblocks for me because I started thinking about stuff that I didn't need to be thinking about because it's spring and I'm literally just supposed to be focusing on what's happening in this season of life. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that stuff, how it's going to end up being stored. Frankly, it doesn't really matter right now, but I just wanted to like, just don't overthink it, just do it. That's what I had to tell myself. Another thing that I was overthinking was like, I'm a stay at home mom, so I don't have a work attire. My everyday attire is really my work attire. And with the 333 system, you know, like there are these stipulations as far as what counts and what doesn't. And I felt like I had like, oh, I have leisure wear that I should count because I wear it as part of my everyday, which I just decided to stick to the rules and kind of in my head thinking like, okay, if you would wear it to the boy's pediatrician appointment, then that's what counts. And am I gonna wear my workout stuff or my loungewear to his pediatrician appointment? No, I'm not. So that helped, I guess, I don't know. Is it silly? Whatever, it worked. So I have five pairs of jeans, one pair of shorts if we have a warmer day, these overalls, and then two pairs of linen pants, four button-up shirts, 
I decided to just keep my black vest out, two uh, cardigan sweaters, and then my five short sleeve shirts. I have these three long sleeve shirts that I decided to keep out, and then those two long sleeve pullover sweaters. And then those are my three primary coats that I'll be wearing during the spring. And then my two main shoes, my boots, and my kids. So I think that this is, it's a good mix and it really feels like so much I'll be able to do, uh, I'll be able to do a lot with this over the course of the next three months. All right, so here's everything. And like I mentioned, I turn everything backwards so I know exactly what's being used and what's not. It is crazy the difference between fall and winter. Like this whole section here was full of clothes until I took everything out. And then I have all of my pants down here um, and the shorts and those linen jeans. Everything is organized in here and then up here as well. Well, I'm super glad that's done. That was a lot of fun to do. There was a lot of overthinking that I found myself doing. I'm still not 100% sure exactly what organization system I'm going to have in place for my out of season stuff. I guess it doesn't really matter because it's, it doesn't matter. What matters is the 33, I guess it's less than 33, technically, those pieces of clothing that I'm wearing through spring. And you probably notice that a lot of it is more fall toned stuff, which I like, I don't care. I'm trying really hard to reduce my spending. And while I have added a few new to me pieces, um, secondhand items into my wardrobe, I'm really just trying so hard to be mindful about the shopping that I do. And I'm really proud of myself. Anything that I have purchased this year has been done so with money from me selling my own things or credits that I had. Like I bought a t-shirt from Old Navy because I had a credit from my Old Navy credit card. But that aside, this Project 333 is really helping me put into practice just creating a more minimal wardrobe, making things easier for me when I walk into my closet in the morning and I try to figure out what to wear. While I still did struggle a little bit during the fall and winter, even though I had, for the most part, put this system into place, I know that it was significantly easier than in the past. I remember in the Marie Kondo tidying up concept, her idea is that you have all of your clothes out at once, regardless of what season it is. And if you're someone like me who struggles to make decisions, even if you know you're not going to wear a tank top in January, having that option there is just sometimes too distracting and makes my brain not do the things it needs to do. So that's that. I'm gonna stop talking. If you have any questions for me about this system, please let me know in the comments. I'll try to be as helpful as I can. I feel like it is pretty simple and straightforward, but sometimes just getting the ball rolling can be challenging. I appreciate you spending a chunk of your day with me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, share it with your friends and family. And yeah, I will see you around. I hope you have a beautiful day. The sun is shining here and I'm gonna go plant some peas because it's time to get those on the ground. All right, as always, I love you. Have fun and be kind.